Hello drone enthusiasts, this is Dave from MeRC. Welcome back to my channel and we're going to be talking about the Tiny Hawk and the mods I did to correct the video problems that it originally had. The video problems that I was experiencing were indoors at the gym while I was flying the Tiny Hawk around near obstacles and near the floor. The stock setup had a lot of blocky breakup and some of that was probably caused by reflections and multipathing. To try to reduce the breakup and the blockiness in the video, I went ahead and did a modification where I installed an Eosheen VTX 03S in place of the stock VTX. This had an improvement in the gym. With the VTX 03S, I was able to increase the power from 25 milliwatts up to at least 50 milliwatts, but above that, it just drained too much power, so I couldn't go beyond that. But the VTX 03S did decrease the blockiness and the breakup to some extent. Next, I replaced the stock antenna on the VTX 03S with a micro CP antenna. And I used a CP antenna on my goggles to try to correct some of the reflections in multipathing. Unfortunately, at that point, it was summer and we were no longer flying indoors and I couldn't test it in the gym anymore. I tried it in the basement and it seemed to have only a limited effect and I wasn't happy with the test. So it's winter now, and again we are doing some indoor flying at the gym. So now I can do the comparison with the CP antenna versus the stock antenna on the VTX 03S transmitter. So let's take a look at that. So the first thing I noticed is there wasn't a whole lot of improvement in the breakup or the reflection off the walls. It still seems to be about the same as the stock antenna. I was hoping there'd be more reduction in the multipathing effects uh, produced by the walls, but it seems like it isn't much different. And probably the Wi-Fi interference is what's really causing the issue, but I'm just guessing there. It seems like no matter what kind of antenna sets I use, it still has a lot of effect on the video quality. And of course the downside is I've now got extra weight because the CP antenna weighs more and the weight of that combined with the VTX-03 upgrade certainly puts more stress on the batteries and gives me shorter flight times. Did notice a big improvement when I went to the VTX-03 over the standard transmitter so probably all I really need is that and I don't need the CP antenna at all. So in conclusion, I think it's worth going to the transmitter upgrade with the VTX-03S from Eosheen. Not certain that the CP antenna really adds that much to it. If you just bought your quad, you might want to try just putting the CP antenna on the stock board and just see how it does. And if that doesn't work, then maybe upgrade to the VTX-03S or some other transmitter that might even be lighter than that because it does add weight. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And I hope this helps somebody out there with their Tiny Hawk. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.